Okay, then he's going to come into a bow. So he's going to bend and grab here. The bow actually creates a nice strong frame, just like when you were in camel. Right. It creates a box. It's a framed position. It makes it easier to manipulate them, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, from here, watch my hand placement. The first thing I do is I'm going to pivot my left leg off the ball of my foot. I'm just going to pivot in like this, okay? Okay. Now when I take this foot out, he's mostly onto the left leg there. Okay. I'm slowly going to take um, my left hand and guide him through this way. Let's talk about falls, okay? Mm -hmm. Of course, he could fall over. When you're rotating, you're falling left and right. He could fall over this way. The moment he does, what you want to do is essentially get him upright. You want to bend your legs and push it up on the arms. He can let go. You're trying to get him upright again. That's essentially your job as a base when you're base spotting. Try mm -hmm. to get him upright. He's bound, so your job is to let go of those same binds. Um, you, you may not get a down from your base when they're first basing. You may get a, oh, oh yes, shit. <laughs> Understand his cues, okay? okay? Unbind, that's really key. So your job is to lower the leg, keep the arms up, and be mindful because we have bricks here, right? right? Whenever you're doing this motion, you're likely think about the flyer's head first and foremost here, mm -hmm. okay? Also, he can land on his knees because he's bound there, but um, that's more his, I think the responsibility lies more on the flyer there because there's very little you can do. You're, the only thing you can do is lower your legs and raise your arm mm -hmm. there mostly, okay? So back here, and let's break this down. We're in back fly. This one's a really nice little uh, transition if you can get it right, okay? Here, would you turn this way, Zach, do you think? Clockwise? I'm right-handed, so ideally I turn this way. Okay. So oh, I'm gonna, I, I pivot over left foot here, I pivot over first my right leg, my right foot, then from here I can slide that foot out, right? Now mm -hmm. all the weight's on the left leg. Yep. Which makes me want to collapse the waist, so be mindful, a lot more pressure on the left arm now. Up, I'm using my left arm and right arm to kind of turn them over. All the weight's on that sacrum now, there's a lot of pressure. Now we're switching hands, left, over, over here now. I can actually use this hand to grab his ankle here. Okay. Everything is open though, no holding on because he needs to let go. From here, I'm keeping turning. This right foot comes across, over into the back here. And then now this hand goes over to the shin. And guess what? We're walking over into our famous position. Okay. You can go right into it. And then from there, we can have uh, Andrew float. Yeah, like that. I think you can actually float them like that. Okay. But let's work. Uh, let's work first the first transition. Okay. So um, we'll come down, Andrew.